Welcome back to Benny Hart's Show. There's a new Army program out there called Live Army Green. And joining me to talk about this is Fort Benning Garrison Commander, Colonel Tom McDonald. Sir, thanks for joining us today on Benny Extra. Happy to be here. Wonderful. So tell us a little bit about what this program is and what it, what it means. Well, really what this dates back to is a Secretary of Defense initiative in 2001 to help us become better stewards of our environment and resources. And so one of the things we wanted to do is get residents involved in this program by having them be responsible for their utility bills. So what this boils down to is that uh, residents on Fort Benning are going to start to receive a utility bill or be responsible for their utilities. Is that correct? It's correct that some residents will, in fact, get a bill for their utilities. But by and large, what will happen is we're going to establish a baseline. It will be called a rolling baseline. So all the houses are metered. And these meters will be read and they'll go through a mock billing period for a number of months. They'll figure out what the baseline is by taking the top 10% of energy users and the bottom 10% energy users and discarding those and you come up with your rolling baseline. It will be done monthly. If you Then when they get into the actual billing process, what will happen is those that are in the top 10% or bottom 10% will get a rebate or a bill, depending on where they fall. So let's break this down real easy. You have a $100 electric bill. And so if you're, if you're getting using about $100 of, the, of electricity every month or utilities every month, uh, you're going to be in the safe area. And if, there's also a buffer. So if you go over about 110 you may be responsible for that $10. Is that how that works? Well, essentially what happens is, yeah, if you, if you sell $10 outside the baseline, then you would if, then you'd pay the $10. On the other hand, if you save $10 inside the baseline, uh, then you would, be, or if you save $10, uh, then you would get a $10 rebate. So how does that process work? Do you get uh, a check in the mail? Do you get a bill in the mail that says you owe this money? How does that work? There's going to be different ways, but in fact, you could get a, a check from, uh, from the pinnacle uh, or... Or, or get a bill from Pinnacle. So we'll, there'll be several methods of, of getting after that. But I think the important part is to know is that the only the, only the 10% uh, biggest users of energy would even get a bill, and that the, it's done every month. So you could be a, a bill payer one month and, a, and somebody receiving a rebate the next month. So how about the, uh, what you called a rolling baseline we were talking earlier? What is this rolling baseline that we're talking about? Because, you know, utility bills are higher in the summertime for electricity. You might have more gas usage in the wintertime. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, the program's really just going to continue to monitor how much energy everybody's using in your neighborhood. And it'll be done by like houses and by neighborhoods. So we're not comparing a 3,000-square-foot historic home to a 1,200-square-foot two-bedroom somewhere else. And so you're really competing with your neighbors and living in similar types of quarters. Every month they'll look at it, and again, they're measuring what the center 80% usage is. And so you're only comparing yourselves to your neighbors given in that given month. So with summer, everybody's under the same conditions. Winter, everybody's under the same conditions. So there are some people out there that have a higher utility usage than normal, and they're worried about getting this huge bill for an extra $100 every month. I mean, is that going to be a, the problem? Or? Yeah, I, the information we've gotten, and again, 80% of the Army has fielded this program already. And so one of the fortunate things about being one of the last installations to come online is there's been a lot of lessons learned through this process. And what we figured out is that, generally speaking, you're talking $10, $15 rebates or, or bills uh, for the average resident that's in that top or bottom 10%. So we're not talking a lot of money. Something you should know is that uh, we already get a utility savings compared to people off post. So our... our uh, our utility rate is significantly less than off post. And so you're really talking pretty pretty small dollars. So who's going to be affected by this? We're not going to just go army, uh, post-wide with this uh, utility program. We're going to, you're going to start in a couple of areas? Right. We're going to start with uh, our new neighborhoods, so Patton, McGraw, and Eupatory are the first neighborhoods in any of the programs. These are the quarters that are brand new, and they've been metered. And so we'll start that on 1 February. So the first mock billing period will start on the 1st of March. And then they'll have a, there'll be a grace period, right, as far as... So what happens is we're going to go into a five-month mock billing period, and so residents will have a chance to see where they stack, whether they're within that baseline or whether they're in the top 10% or bottom 10% of users. And so they'll be, they'll be able to figure out whether they would have gotten a rebate or whether they would have gotten a bill or whether they would have stayed status quo. And they can monitor that for several months, and they figure out how, they, how well they're competing with, with everyone else. This also forces residents to reflect on their own utility usage as well. Yes, that, and that's the intent is that this will motivate uh, folks to take a look at what they're doing in the homes and how they can better make use of their utilities. So a lot of people say, oh, I leave my TV on all the long because I'm not paying my utility bill. I think one of the, one of the neat things about the, the program is that uh, the cost savings that we'll get, and we think that these cost savings will be about 20%, uh, could be as high as 20%, at least based on experiences of other installations, is that 20% gets rolled back into 
uh, amenities that the neighborhoods can get, playgrounds, etc., uh, renovations, and other things. That's a lot of, that's a lot of money saved. We think that uh, right now that about uh, $450,000 a month we spend on, the Pinnacle spends on utilities uh, for housing. And so if we can save 20% of that, it's $90,000 a month that can be reinvested back into the project and make things better for the residents. Wonderful. So what about those residents who are living in um, homes that have not been renovated yet and don't have meters? They don't have to worry? They will not be entering this period. I, of course, encourage them to do all they can to save uh, energy and uh, be good stewards. But at some point, we'll, the, as they go through renovations and other things, they'll start adding, adding and metering those homes as well. So eventually, we, we hope to have all the homes on the installation uh, metered and get everybody into the program. Fort Benning's always been a good steward of the environment, and, uh, and uh, this makes good sense. It makes sense to stay with electricity and utilities things that nature. Do you anticipate any resistance from any of the residents about this? Well, I've had a series of uh, a town halls to show people, you know, what the program is, answer their questions and concerns, and I think in the end, because we're saying that, that the, hist or the historical data on this shows that not a lot of folks are getting significant bills, uh, that it'll just encourage us to be better stewards, and I think they'll, they'll buy in. So, sir, so basically what's going to happen is beginning March 1st, you're going to start seeing a, a, a mop bill in your, in, your, in your mailbox. And people are going to have five months to look at this, monitor their usage. In the beginning around August, they're going to be responsible for overages or get money back. So and that, that's correct. So you really got about five months to take a look at how you're utilizing uh, utilities at your house. Uh, you know, how, how much gas and how much electricity are you using, and you'll be able to make changes keep yourself in the baseline or, in fact, maybe compete to get those rebates. Sir, thanks again for coming on and talking about this hot issue. Colonel Tom McDonald, Fort Benning Garrison Commander. And coming up next after the break, how do you get your taxes done for free? We'll tell you. So that's it. To continue providing the high-quality, dependable wastewater services you have come to expect, Columbus Waterworks is asking for your help in preventing sewer stop-ups. A local law prohibits items such as rags, baby wipes, dusters, and sweepers from being flushed down the drain. These items should be discarded into trash containers. Such items do not degrade in the sewer and can cause obstruction and pump damage that cost customers thousands of dollars. Help Columbus Waterworks serve our community and protect the environment. 